Hey, hey, um, I wanted to do a, a video, hopefully it's not too long, on a sensitive subject, bladder incontinence, or my issue, stress incontinence, where you cross your legs in a hurry before you sneeze or cough and whatnot, or planning out your day, where all the restrooms at, at the mall or at the festival, or basically dehydrating yourself because you don't want to have to go to the bathroom 20 times a day. And um, so I want to talk about that and a new, not well, not really new, but a more improved Exonix uh, stimulator, sacral nerve therapy. Uh, my doctor, Dr. Martin from Beaumont, Texas, recommended this to me. I did my research, came home, got on YouTube, and found their website and watched the testimonials. But I wanted to also see real patients, patients from their own experience. I mean, they were real patients, but you know what I mean? Like people besides their testimonials on their website didn't find anything. And the couple that I did find, well, one really I found, she was in the UK. The other chick had, uh, I think it's called Interstem done. It's by another company, Medtronic or something like that, or Medtronic. And she did a comparison, and she hopes that one day she can get the other one taken out and put Exonix in because it does it is better. And she does a pretty neat side by side, side by side comparison on her YouTube channel. I forgot who she was. I'm sorry. I, uh, if I find it, I'll I will post it down below. But um, so anyway, I went to the doctor with my issue, telling her, hey, you know, I'm 49. I'm almost 50, and I'm having these issues. You know, I'm going to the bathroom a billion times a day. You know, I drink a bottle of water and I'm going to the bathroom six times. With, just within a few minutes of drinking a bottle of water, I'm, I'm in the bathroom. Uh, I drive 30 minutes to work. i got to stop in between my home and work and pee. And that just started happening not too long ago. So, But I've had the issue for a few years now, but it's just gotten a little worse now. Um, so I told her all that. She told me about Exonix. And like I said, I did my own research. What's important to know about Exonix is this. You will have to pay a copay for the trial. You will have to pay a copay. If it goes well, you will have to pay a copay for the um, permanent implant. Okay, so Exonix therapy is for bladder and bowel control. So it's actually made for people who have fecal incontinence. So if you know anybody who has fecal incontinence, this is a great thing that they should try. It's got a uh, wonderful success rate like 90 93 percent it's on there in their their folder they give you so okay so for the trial you get the remote control which comes with the permanent one anyway this is the stimulator that you will get put uh that will they will tape it to your back this is the lead that's going to go to your sacral nerve i believe it's called and that is located above your tailbone so, uh, or, or no, where your tailbone is, you have like little holes in there and, um, they, your S3 is where they want to put it. It's where, it's where, you know, that's the place that they want to put the, uh, lead in. So how they do that is that it's local anesthetic. You do not get put to sleep for the trial one because it's local anesthetic. It's just a trial. Well, now when you get the permanent implant done, you do have, you will get put to sleep. So that's a good thing. But anyway... And the permanent one looks like this. This is the one I'm getting. It's teeny tiny. You can actually compare it to a quarter. This is the charger. It is a rechargeable battery. You basically, they give you a belt, you lean back, and it, it takes about an hour, and you charge up your battery, and you're good to go for four or five days, or I think four days. So, um, anyway, what you're going to do is they're going to... They're going to put you, you're going to come in, you're going to, um, an Exonix team will be there. He'll be, have his little notepad or his little uh, pad there and he controls, he helps the doctor like kind of, I'm not sure how they do it, but I guess kind of help her locate the, where that nerve is, where it's hitting. And anyway, you're going to pull up your shirt. You're going to pull down your pants right below your butt cheeks. You're going to lay on the table. Tummy side down, they're going to put a pillow underneath your pelvis so your butt is kind of pitched up. So it's a little embarrassing, but you know, whatever. But uh, once you do that, they're going to come in, they're going to clean you all up, sterilize you, they're going to drape your back with some, with uh, like these pads, blue pads, and they're going to put it underneath your butt, underneath your little butt cheeks. And 
then the doctor will come in and it'll start. I'm not really sure everything they did. Um, I did not have a good experience, but I'll explain that in a minute. Okay, I don't want that to frustrate you or 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 tell or not frustrate you, but keep you from doing it. I'll tell you why I had a bad experience. So anyway, before that, um, the needles are long. My husband was in there with me, so they're really long, and they have to be long because they have to go deep and they have to find that that S three, um, your sacral nerve. So they kind of sometimes they have to poke around in there. And uh, that's where the issue came in. So it basically, it's a hollow needle. They, they numb you up and everything like that, local anesthetic right in that area. They put that needle in and they, they find it. And when they and if you're lucky, they find it pretty quickly. And they put that lead inside, that hollow needle. They place the lead in there. I don't know how they do it. But anyway, once they get it, they'll pull that hollow needle out. She'll hold on to the uh, lead so it doesn't come out. And once they get all that done they uh then they're done and then but and th on that part is where i had it was horrible pain it was um i yelled out i yelled out to stop i was crying i had trouble numbing up i did not numb and, and they numbed me up i it was just little pinprick she gave me quite a few shots but it just it didn't numb me all the way for whatever reason so i felt everything when she went inside that uh to find that nerve yeah it was it was it was god it was horrible um I, thought I was gonna die and so anyway they went ahead and stopped they flooded that whole area around the bone with um numbing meds and once it was flooded she went back in and she they she finally found it so she went on my left side, she went on my right side and my left side, and she found it on my left side. And once that was all over with, that torture was over with, um, like I said, not everybody has that experience. I did. So I have low pain tolerance, and um, I have had trouble numbing before. When I went to the dentist, it was horrible. I could not numb. He must have shot me up. I, I, was, I looked like I had Bell's palsy by the time he shot me up with so much numbing meds. It just wasn't working. He had to go for the big stuff, you know, the... The really strong stuff and um so anyway once they did all that they tape everything up on your back they tape the lead against your back and the the temporary stimulator and it looks kind of like this i i did mine yesterday i had the trial done yesterday so oh yeah yeah my underwear so once that's all done, well, before they actually do that, they'll he'll be testing that. Once they have the uh, lead in the correct place, he'll turn it. He'll turn the stimulator on. He'll ask you where you feel it, and you should feel it around your anal area or by your anal area, your vaginal area, your groin, your toe, your leg. And once everything is perfect and they get everything set, they tape you up. Okay, so once you're done that, you get off the table. Um. He'll do it again. He'll kind of tell you where you're feeling it and stuff. And then, um, of course, I almost passed out. I had so much adrenaline running, running through me that I was coming down and I almost passed out. So they gave me some Coke and um, I drank that and um, I was fine after a while. I stopped shaking. I was severely shaking, which, as you know, anesthetic can do that to you. So I ended up, I ended up recovering fine. Um, it took a little while, but I recovered just fine. They send you home. Once they get everything, once they get you know, your, your level, correct, you know, the level that you're comfortable and stuff, they send you home. And this is what they don't want you to do when you come home, okay? No yoga, cycling, running, weightlifting, CrossFit, Pilates, or sexual activity at all. So you can walk, that's okay. No excessive bending from the waist, no twisting or turning. When you go to sleep at night, you need to lay on your side or on your tummy um, a pregnancy pillow is wonderful to keep you in that side position I can't really sleep on my my stomach too long so luckily we had a pregnancy pillow here um, that someone just gave to us um, so I used it and it was wonderful um, so you'll do all that you'll take it easy until your next appointment to get it out but during that time they're going to give you a pee diary There's a bladder diary you're going to write down every time you pee. 
and you should see a difference. And guys, I'm telling you right now, besides that horrible pain I went through, like I said, that's not everybody's experience. Most people get numbed up just fine and they don't feel anything. But anyway, it is wonderful. I am going hours without having to pee. Um, I drank coffee and I didn't have to pee 13 million times. We went out to eat afterwards and I drank a, a whole thing of tea and a little bit, some beer and I made it all the way home. I didn't have to pee when I got home. So I'm having a great experience and I'm hope to get the permanent uh, one done soon. Uh, of course, insurance is going to dictate. I got to see how much it's going to cost. For the deductible for the trial was three seventy, three seventy nine for me. Now remember, everybody's insurance is different, um, so keep all that in mind. Ask questions of your doctor. Okay, ask questions. Um, I wanted to do this video because I could not find anybody giving their experience with the trial procedure. Was it painful or was it uncomfortable or how did or what was their experience? You know, what did they go through? Oh, and one more important thing: these leads are not permanently placed on you, not like when you get the permanent done. So these leads can migrate. They can move. So you can have fantastic results results for the first couple of days and all of a sudden it's like you're just peeing all over again all the time. Don't let that discourage you. That's most likely because the lead the lead did move and that's normal. This is an imperfect trial. They even tell you that, but insurance will make you go through this in order to get qualified for the permanent one. And stuff they just have to see an improvement which for me thank god it is working great um like i said i'm so excited um, i'm so excited to go on a road trip and i have to pee i have to stop you know and pee a million times so or a million times in general so just keep all that in mind ask questions exonics is the company they have a website go on there and um just do your research they have videos on youtube uh, testimonials you can listen to and uh yeah so that's my experience when i have the permanent one done i will do another video and let you know how that goes but like i said with the permanent one they do put you to sleep just not with the trial because it's just local anesthetic for that because they're not they're not making an incision and putting the uh implant in and that's what they do they make an incision on your lower back on your side there make a little pocket and then they put the little bitty device inside and they sew you all up and stuff so that's it um, if you have any questions, uh, ask below, and I will try my best to get to them. I'll check daily, or I'll check every couple of days, and I'll try my best to answer those for you. All right, thank y'all. Y'all have a blessed day. Bye-bye, and good luck.